Hi guys! So I get asked a lot about um, my hair care routine and the products I use. I've been doing highlights for years and just recently um, I changed my highlights a little bit um, and basically what I did was I did less highlights last time and I got a rinse. So if I show you my roots really close you can see so that's my natural hair color and then the little bit of redness is peeping through here because of the rinse that I did. Um, so I definitely have to get that done. Um, but it looks pretty natural and um, so let's get started with uh, my hair care routine. So I try to wash my hair uh, every other day um, because I do work out and go to the gym and sweat a lot. It, lately it's been that I've been washing my hair every day and I prefer not to do that because it does make your hair a little bit uh, drier and it does wash out if you have any coloring or highlights it does wash that out a little bit faster so i definitely try to do every other day. shampoo products that i've been using i guess for about eight years already have been l'oreal professional so this is the brand and you can get this at um, lots of beauty supply stores or at hair salons themselves and the colors that i use um, they go in color systems so there's uh, pink for highlighted hair, there's yellow for dry hair, dark yellow to orange almost is like an intense repair, green is for volume, um, and so on and so on. So there's different colors. So I basically use um, a different color almost every time I wash my hair because uh, your hair gets used to the formulas and because I love them so much, I don't want my hair to get used to it. So every day I kind of use something else and I just feel like that works best for my hair and I've been doing this for like eight years. The one that I use the most often and that's why I have such a big bottle is this one. It's called Lumino Contrast and it's the Radiance Shampoo for highlighted hair. This one's huge. This one is 1500 milliliters. I use this on a almost every time basis and then I switch it up with the yellow one. So this one is the Intense Repair. Um, nutrition shampoo for dry hair so this keeps my hair um, from not being so dry so you can see the size difference this one is 500 so this one is three times bigger so I use these two shampoos and then I also I don't use conditioners I haven't used conditioners in years because conditioners actually dry out your hair so what I use is um, masks instead of conditioners so I have the um, yellow one, the Intense Repair, in the bigger size, and then I have the Lumino Contrast in the smaller size. So this one is 500, and this one is 200 ml. So you can see the difference. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll use this shampoo and this mask, and then this shampoo and this mask, and then sometimes I'll use it with the same color. When I feel like my hair is really dry and I need like more of an intense shampoo, so I'll use this one, the Absolute Repair, and this one is a darker yellow color, almost orange, and it is repairing shampoo for very damaged hair. So I, there was a time when I used this one like almost every day, but it does make your hair a little bit greasy. So don't put it at the roots, and then I put it like really at the ends where I do tend to get dry, and sometimes when I feel like my hair is getting really dry, I'll switch to this for like a few weeks. And then when I know I'm going to be in intense humid conditions and I want to like the night before or the day of when I wash my hair I want to control that such as today um, so I actually used this mask and this is the Liss Extreme uh, smoothing mask for unmanageable hair and basically my hair is completely manageable I definitely am very lucky with my hair but when I'm going to humid uh, conditions and I just blow dry my hair and I want it to stay instead of like putting like a, a lot of product in my hair to make that last I just use this mask and it helps it a lot so this is a purpley gray color and I really love this one too. When I feel like I need an extra boost, sometimes my hair is like really damaged. So basically like once a month, I use the Power Dose and this is also L'Oreal Professionals. And then this is just um, the like spritz bottle. You get like a little tiny bottle and you can get that for like around $8. And then you just put that in here and then you spritz it all over your hair and then you let your hair sit. And if you want a really good repair, you can also put like a plastic bag over your head and sit with it and like blow dry it and heat it up for like a few hours and then rinse it out. And then your hair is so, so soft. So something that I love about all these L'Oreal products is they smell really, really good. Like the pink one, it's just amazing, this smell. Um, they all smell really, really good. They're really good for your hair, and most of the hair dressers or hairstylists uh, do recommend these products. 
So then what I use in terms of after washing products is also I switch this up. So if I'm going to be doing any kind of heated uh, styling to my hair, like blow drying or straightening, so I will use the Thermo Repair. This is also by L'Oreal Professional. Um, and this is the Thermo Repairing Milk for Very Damaged Hair. So you put this on um, just a little bit in the palms of your hands, you rub it and just apply it like I would say from about here and down. And this protects your hair from the heat products. And not only does it protect, but it actually uses the heat from your products to um, moisturize and, uh, and um, condition your hair. So that's a really great product. And then what I do is if I'm not using like a heat related product or if I just want like some extra shine after or before, like you can use this whenever. These are the serums. So again, I have another L'Oreal product. I promise I'm not sponsored by L'Oreal at all. I just really do like their products. So this is the L'Oreal Professional Mythic Oil, nourishing oil for all hair types. This is a fairly new product. I think it's only been on the market for about a year and I started using it. And I used to use the, um, the little serum that was the Lumino Contrast that went with this. And ever since I tried this, I've completely switched. I love this, it smells so good and it just makes your hair so soft. And I've actually been using it together with the Thermal Repair and I don't feel like that's too much product. It's really light, it doesn't make your hair um, oily or greasy or anything like that. So I love this. And then, on occasion, so like I said, like just like switching up shampoo, shampoos, I also switch up the um, serums and oil treatments. So I also really love the Moroccan oil. I'm sure you've heard tons about this. This is like so famous for over the past few years. Um, oil treatment for all hair types. This also has a really, really great smell and it's alcohol free and it is really, really nice on your skin, on your hair, sorry. The only thing that I do have to say about it is that if you put it like near your roots, you do get oily and greasy and shiny and so you have to be careful with this. So I only use it right on like my ends and I only use it when I feel like my hair is really dry. If I will be curling my hair and I need volume or anything like that, the mousse, like my go-to mousse, is the KMS California Ad Volume Styling Foam Mousse um, and adds overall body and support for full looks. So it's just like a really good mousse. Um, I don't really have too much to say about it. The only, I guess, downside that I do have to say about it is it does make your hair a little crunchy, so I'm still yet to find a mousse that will give you great hold but won't make your hair crunchy. So yeah. In terms of like styling, so the styling products that I use most often is my GHD straightener. Um, so this one is the, I think it's believe the gold series, I think that's what it's called. It's got like the gold ceramic plates inside. Uh, you can't control the temperature on this one, so it's just an on or off button. This is one of the more expensive hair styling products, but I definitely recommend it. I used to have an Amika hair straightener, which I loved also, but like you just can't compare. Once you, once you go GHD, you don't go back. <laughs> and then in terms of blow drying, so I blow dried my hair today as you can see. Oh. Um, so I use the Rowenta for Elite Model Look, um, and it's the Ionic 2200 watt ceramic, and it's got like the screw-on um, nozzle here, and then you can also put on the diffuser, um, and I just love it because you can control. There's three different power volumes and three different heat adjusted uh, heat adjusters here, and um, so you can really control it depending on what you want to get that day and I just really like it because it goes really really hot. When I blow dry my hair I do use um, round brushes that have ceramic uh, backing to them. So this is the Ceramics Thermal, it's a little bit smaller. I don't have the actual sizes for them because it doesn't say. Um, so this one's just a smaller one, this is a bigger one. I usually use this for all my hair and then this is just for like the top top part here. Um, so yeah, I always use ceramic. I used to use a metal backing one, which I loved because it makes doing your hair so fast, but it does ruin your hair. So I do use ceramic now. now. When curling my hair, this is my uh, curling iron, and I believe this is a two inch. It's a really big one, and I have to say I made a mistake. I definitely should have bought a smaller one. Um, it's a Babyless Pro, and it's the Tourmaline 500 model. It does heat up really, really quickly, but I, and you do have like, you can adjust the temperatures here, um, but unfortunately it's a bit too big for me and my hair is kind of thick, so like I think I should have gotten a smaller one, so it doesn't really curl my hair that great, um, but also because my hair is very straight naturally, like no curls ever hold, so I don't often curl my hair. 
um, but sometimes when I'll put in like extensions like the clip on extensions I'll use this and then it looks nice um, but I do have to use a lot of product to make it stay so that was just like a little bit of an introduction I guess to my hair routine and like the products that I like um, I guess I didn't even plan for this to happen but it did work out that most of the products that I showed here were L'Oreal professional and like I said I'm not sponsored by them. I was not given any of these products for free. I just really, really love them. So yeah, that's what I use. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, go check out my Facebook, which is Makeup by AWB. Um, you should just find it facebook.com slash Makeup by AWB. And there's a whole bunch of information there. You can check that out. And then you can also check out my blog, which I have like almost every day I publish new um, articles or posts, I guess you could say, on like makeup and fashion and a whole bunch of different things. So that's just makeupbyawb.com. So check that out and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.